Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super exciting because it's kind of like two videos mixed in one and I haven't done either of these two concepts in a long time and I'm doing them both today so I think it's gonna be super fun. But today I'm going to be doing a Q&A but I'm also going to be getting ready at the same time so it's a little Q&A and a get ready with me. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions but I'm also going to go through my YouTube comments and read a couple of the questions that you guys have because I feel like I don't cover enough of those, so I'm gonna bring those up in today's video as well. Haven't even brushed my hair today, so this is where we're starting. Today is Labor Day, and in a couple hours, I do have like some friends coming over and stuff, like just to do something for the day. But other than that, I have no plans at all, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be like outside and swimming and stuff. So I'm not exactly sure why I'm doing my makeup right now, but I also just wanted to give you guys like a makeup routine because I know some people do ask for that sometimes. But for the most part, on a daily basis, I don't even wear makeup anymore, and it's because of my eyelashes, which please ignore my eyelashes in this video. Like, I beg you, because usually you guys are telling me like my eyelashes look so good and like they're the perfect length they ended up being so long this time and they're like so uneven they're like longer right here than they are over here i already had to redo this eye like twice to match the other eye like it's just been a lot um i'll talk more about my eyelashes in a second but i just want to tell you guys like please don't look at my eyelashes and judge me because i know they don't look good right now also my throat has been hurting like the past like three days or so and today it's just been extra bad so if i do sound congested and like my voice sounds a little weird that is why the makeup routine that i'm going to be doing today is basically like the makeup routine that i picked up when i was in florida i had started like doing my makeup like a certain way every single day so that's what i'm going to be doing today because i haven't done my makeup in quite some time so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to use my little like bubble moisturizer thing which i accidentally broke but i love moisturizing bottles that have a pump like this and then i'm going to be using this product which is from target and just putting a little bit of it into the moisturizer and mixing it together definitely too much product but it's going to be fine then i'm going to put this on my face and smooth it out and basically what this is going to do is give me a little bit of like a bronzy look and highlight a little bit See, it's like so shimmery and sparkly. It looks so cute and I look tanner. So the first question that y'all have is what is a fall favorite? I'm really struggling to think of like a branded product. I mean like I love fall candles so much. It literally doesn't matter where they're from. Those are definitely like a fall favorite item. And then I also think like Ugg slippers are such like a fall necessity too. Like I love those and sweaters like i don't know i don't know specific things but one thing that has been like my favorite thing right now that's fall related it is a food but tim hortons pumpkin muffins they are so good i got one two days ago and it was like the best thing i've ever eaten in my life and for some reason i completely forgot about them because when i started tasting it i was like i have tasted this before like i had it like two years prior and i haven't had it since but like if you have a tim hortons near you run do not walk like go right now and then the next day i went and tried the starbucks cream cheese muffin because i was like we need to have a little competition here like which one is better i think the tim hortons one is better it is bigger it is cheaper and i just think it tastes better so if you like the starbucks cream cheese muffin then you will love the tim hortons one so yeah that is currently like my favorite fall thing i would say that was a long conversation just to talk about a muffin. I'm definitely not as tan as I was when I was in Florida, so I probably look a little weird right now. But the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and put some concealer just underneath my eyes because I got them really dark under eye circles. I'm going to use a beauty blender to do this and life hack, if you have an empty setting spray bottle, fill it up with water because this has become like such a great life hack for me to just spray my beauty blenders with water. So like the whole thing isn't soaking wet, you know? Like I just, great life hack, try it out. The next question is where do you get your clothes from? I would say right now, most of the places that I got my clothes from are like Paxson, Brandy Melville a lot recently, Target has had some really good goodies as well, and then H&M a little bit. I have been getting a lot of different pants and stuff from H&M because they're a lot cheaper than other places and they are just so cute and so comfortable. 
this is definitely too late for my face but it's fine anything to make my under eye circles not look terrible the next question is fave show that you are watching right now so i'm currently only watching love island right now which i have no idea how i got into it i kind of just wanted like a show that i can sit and play in the background like while I'm doing school or while I'm cleaning and so I started watching Love Island because I find that like dating and reality shows are like the best shows to like do those things to and then of course I caught myself like while I'm supposed to be cleaning sitting there like getting really deep into the show and now I watch it like every single day I'm currently on season two of Love Island USA and I'm on like episode like 25 or something I actually just went ahead and like skip to the second season because I thought like I don't know it would be better and I do think I like it it's just a lot longer than I expected I feel like things get like stretched out a lot like Too Hot Tandles like 10 episodes like this show is 30 episodes long like it's a lot of dedication if you're gonna watch the whole thing I definitely do enjoy it but after this season I'm gonna take a break and go watch the new season of Love is Blind and The Ultimatum so that is the show that I'm watching right now and those two shows that I just named are the ones that I'm going to watch next I look like a TikTok filter for some reason the next question is how long ago did you meet your boyfriend and how long have you guys been dating while I answer that question I'm going to be using this product which I think is so amazing I love this this product is literally everything obviously I need to blend it but like look at that it's so beautiful when it comes to this question I have very very specific answers so the first time my boyfriend and I even like met each other it was May 31st 2021 so that was quite some time away then we like hung out with each other like a few times only in like groups and stuff but nothing like that after the summer of 2021 we did not speak to each other we did not see each other for like a few months like we didn't see each other for a while until one day we just like randomly hung out through mutual friends and that was either on like february 2nd 3rd or 4th i don't know it was one of those days maybe the 6th it was just the very beginning of february i know that and then basically in february we kind of just like started slowly talking and then we started dating april 16th of 2022 so we have been dating for a year and like a few months i'm not exactly april this month will be at some point like our year and five months so that is how long we've been together a lot of you guys asked the story on how we met it's like a long complicated story um i've told it in a video before but i saw someone talking about it in the youtube comments yes we did meet at mcdonald's um i don't exactly know what video that is in but you can probably find it somewhere on my channel if you're interested in hearing it the next question is also about my boyfriend and that question is putting on blush by the way that question is when will your boyfriend be in your youtube videos and the answer to that question continues to change every single time you guys ask me i'm just not exactly sure i have like changed opinions about it a lot and recently there was a little situation in one of my florida videos some of you may or may not have seen my my comment but in that video I had mentioned that me and my boyfriend got into a little argument and he like left and like took some space away which was a very short amount of time a lot of you in the comments were like saying that he left the trip completely and that like I went home without him like the whole situation just got extremely exaggerated and that was like a lot for me and that whole thing just made me like very upset and angry because so many people in the comments were like red flag your boyfriend's terrible like this and that and i was just like he wasn't even in the video nor did y'all see the fight nor did y'all know what the fight was about it wasn't even a fight it was an argument between all four of us and like just me saying that 10 second clip about us getting into a fight some of y'all were going feral and like that just made me so angry so i wrote like this whole paragraph and i i honestly shouldn't even have gotten into it but i did because it just bothered me so much but that whole situation just made me realize that like i feel like people are always going to have a problem with like the things that i do and no matter what there are people out there who are always going to have a problem with my relationship especially because i do keep it off with social media so every little like amount that i give to you guys people like to nitpick it you know so because of that i've like literally thought like never like i don't know if i will ever put him in my youtube videos would you and josie ever live together um definitely if like the times align for both of us like if we were both single and we were like we need a place to live we need a roommate like josie would definitely be my first choice and i know i would be her first choice too but we are both in relationships and I do talk a lot about how me and my boyfriend want to get a house together. Josie talks about moving out with her boyfriend too. Like, 
I definitely don't think we would live together right now, but you never know what could happen if we both end up single in 10 years and we're miserable, then yes, we will definitely live together. The next question is, do you have a job outside of YouTube? And the answer to that is no, YouTube is my job and my only job. I have had one other job than YouTube before and it was that baby bob, which you guys probably hear me talk about baby bob in like every single video that I make and it's my favorite like eating place ever. I worked there for two weeks, um, yeah. That was the only job I've ever had other than YouTube. Okay, so we are back to talking about the eyelashes really quickly because I get so many questions on them in every single video. So for a long time, the eyelashes that I was wearing in my YouTube videos, which were just falsies, which means like I would put them on in the morning and I'd take them off at night and then I'd either reuse them or like throw them out. Those falsies were actually from Sheen and they were actually pretty good. Um, I had ordered like a bunch and it was super, super cheap. And I actually thought they worked pretty well. So that's where my falsies were from. And those were the eyelashes that I probably used for like three months or so. And then I was tired of like waking up every day and having to glue eyelashes on. So I started getting into like eyelash extensions that you can do yourself at home. So I had ordered eyelash extensions from Eyeshine Cosmetics. I tried them out and then I was like, mm, I don't know if I like these. So then I had ordered some from Wink Clink or something, Wink Clicks. I don't remember the exact name. And I absolutely hated those. No, I'm not trying to like hate on the company or anything like that. They just definitely like were not for me. I was not very compatible with them. I didn't like them. I didn't like how they looked on me how they fit on me just everything so there's nothing wrong with that company because i saw a lot of people on tiktok who did enjoy it i just didn't like it so then i had gone back to eyeshine cosmetics and i just started loving them so every time you guys see me with eyelashes on they are eyelash extensions that i did at home and they're from eyeshine cosmetics i have tried out like different kits with like different lengths of eyelashes and stuff for the most part, I would say I like the 16 millimeter ones and then I use like a couple 14s. Right now I have on like 18, they're just like so extremely long and they look kind of crazy. So please ignore that. A lot of people have asked this question too, which I'm going to answer very quickly, but it is, how is your mom okay with being around and touching the cats when she is super allergic? So basically, Every time she touches the cats, she washes her hands immediately after, or like if the cat touches her neck, she wipes her neck off after. Usually if she doesn't, she'll get like a rash and it'll become like super, super itchy. Immediately after, she just cleans the area that the cat touched and she's usually fine. So that's how it has worked so well. I only have a few more short and small steps of my makeup routine. Depending on the length of my eyelashes, sometimes I curl them, but that is definitely not happening today. We do not need that. I would look crazy. And then I typically put mascara on my lower lashes, which I use the telescopic, obviously, who doesn't. And then depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing, sometimes I put on like lip liner or like a lip gloss or something like that. But I'm not going to be doing any of those steps today. So this is basically my finished makeup routine. It's literally just a base. That was it. Um, I already have eyelashes, so I don't have to do them. And before I end this video, I want to answer one major question that like a million trillion of you guys have had. And it is about my Notion template that I shared in my last video, which was my first day of school video where I shared that I use this app called Notion to keep track of all my assignments. And a lot of you guys have asked like how I set that up or what template that I use. So it was extremely complicated to set the whole thing up. You kind of have to like work around and figure things out for yourself. It can be a little complicating to set up, but you kind of just have to find what works best for you. Um, I will go ahead and link the template that I used below. I feel like that will be helpful for a lot of you guys. And then the way I made it look like mine is you just click on every area where you can like upload a photo. You just go on Pinterest, you find something that you find cute and you upload it there. I will link my template for you guys. So for those of you who want to use it, can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little makeup routine and also my little Q&A for you guys. I definitely could do another video like this in the future, maybe where I do a deeper get ready with me. Maybe I could do some more makeup than I did today. And I could definitely answer some more questions because I have not done a Q&A in the longest time. So if you enjoyed this, let me know. I can make you guys some more. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.